Hi, it's Dr. Jenny with Thrive Chiropractic and Functional Health, and I am talking today about female hormones, and specifically, I would love to talk a little bit about estrogen. Um, most people don't know that, that we actually have three types of estrogen that our body makes, and they have different purposes and roles, and there is a ratio where you're, ideally you will have more of one type and less of the other types and there's this ideal proportion and there was a researcher um, his name is henry dr henry lemon and uh, he was a hormonal researcher and he studied a lot about estrogen and he came up with this equation called the estrogen quotient and it's um if you look at the the three types of estrogen that are in your body and you do a a test that shows you what how much of each one you have, you can create something called an estrogen quotient and calculate it for yourself. And I have, um, I <laughs> scratched out all the information and I'll just put it up there. This is a, a hormone test that I run. Um, and I, I do have the permission to, to share this, um, as such, but, um, you'll look at, you've got three different types of estrogen, E1, E2, and E3. And I calculated the estrogen quotient right here, where I take that E3 and I divide it by the sum of the other two, um, types one and two of estrogen. And in this uh, particular instance, I came up with the number 1.12. And uh, according to uh, Dr. Lemon's research, you want that ratio to be 1.5 and higher, that is ideal. But if it's under one, then you suspect that um, there's signs of what's called estrogen dominance, if you've ever heard that term, and an increased risk for breast cancer. And so that is usually when people are, are feeling like they're having symptoms of more estrogen. Uh, that's heavy menstrual bleeding, painful periods, lots of cramping, um, uterine fibroids, uh, breast tenderness, uh, fibrocystic breasts, those kinds of things that are driven by estrogen. And if unchecked for long periods of time, um, breast cancer is an estrogen driven cancer. So the exposure to the, the, the extra estrogen, the, the specific type, um, can increase your risk for that. So if, if that's a family, um, concern for you, you've had mothers or sisters or, um, aunts, uh, grandmas that have had breast cancer, or maybe you've had it in the past. You want to know, Hey, how am I doing on this? And, um, I think calculating your estrogen quotient is, is a great thing to, to do and have done. And uh, this is the kind of stuff that I do when I look at hormone imbalances in women and try to help them figure out, um, we don't just want the information, we want to know, okay, now it is what it is and how do we how do we fix that? The, the testing is actually a saliva test, which is, um, in my opinion, more valuable than a, a blood test for hormone levels because it will tell you uh, what your circulating or free hormone levels are. If you do it in blood, it's the the bound, they're always bound to a protein and so they're not the usable form of the hormone. So that may or may not paint the picture that you wanna see. So anyway, um, I will in my blog, if you wanna read more about this and figure out, get this, how to calculate it and all that kind of stuff, then um, I put the link in there to that. Um, because otherwise this would get too tedious on a little short uh, video. But I hope that um, gave you some food for thought. And if you're thinking, gosh, I, I feel like maybe I have some of those estrogen heavy symptoms and family histories of breast cancer, this is something that I might want to look into. Um, just let me know and I'll, I'll tell you what's involved in that. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a great day.